you don't know who's on there, who's stalking them, who's looking mm. at their photos. So I have several rules for my own daughter that I would suggest parents use. Number one, um, keep your feeds private. Um, you don't you don't need to have a lot of likes and a lot of followers and you don't need to go viral. You need to grow up and you need to recognize the benefits of childhood and stay young as long as we possibly can have you stay young. Mm. Number two, do not accept a friend request from anybody from whom you don't share at least 50 followers. Mm -hmm. If you don't share at least 50 followers, then you don't know this person, you're never gonna meet them, don't follow them and don't allow them to follow you. It's just too risky. Sure. The next thing, tell your kids about the consequences of sharing online sexual content. Make that, you know, let them borrow your frontal lobe. They don't have one, you do. Mm -hmm. Let them borrow your reasoning. So say, hey, guys, listen, if you share this, it might feel good right now, but the truth is, is that it could leak out there. The minute you press send or you post, you lose complete control of that thing. And that can really show negative consequences later on, not mm -hmm. only socially, but professionally. And imagine that goes to a future employer or your current boss or your mom and dad or you know your friends or your cheerleading squad or whatever mm -hmm. um you just don't want to deal with the shame that comes with that so parents need to be really open and honest about that no phones in bedrooms there's no reason for a child whether they are six or 16 to have their phone in their bedroom the reason is is because we want to try to control their behavior um when it comes to what they share yeah. my daughter is not going to take a sexually explicit photo of herself in the kitchen Right. She'd be much more likely to take it in her bedroom. So we right. leave the phone downstairs, period, right. end of story. So I think parents have to get much more proactive and setting boundaries with their kids and what their kids do online. Wow. Well, Dr. Lauren, thank you for all that great information. And um, we'll definitely bring you back to see if there's been some improvement over the next several months. That would be great. Thanks, Dr. Ian. Really right. important topic. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.